Look at this stunning place. It's the Clyde at Greenock, not far outside Glasgow. Have to say, it's not what I was expecting. And perched on the bluff, perfectly positioned to catch this incredible view is Billy's house, which he heats with the stove and his Rico heat, and has done for years. He's actually one of my oldest customers, but he's also a very experienced stove user, so really understands how to make it work for him. I'm here with Billy in his beautiful house overlooking the bay. Um, it's quite exposed, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and uh, so tell me about it. How long have you had the uh, Eureka? I've had the Eureka heat two years, I think. Right. Had the stove for 13 years. And I thought that that wee fan would do something, but it's right. you can feel the heat from it. Right. So the reason I have the wee fan is it's just an indication of. You know how it goes fast, you know that it's hot, oh, right. and it slows down. Yeah. Because I never really have a, a flame going. But the heat that comes out is phenomenal when it's really hot, you know. Almost. What do you mean you don't, you don't have a flame going? I don't have, no, I don't have a flame. It, it's turned down so that there's, you can see that it's going fast, that, that, that fan. But to, to minimise the amount of wood I'm using, yeah, yeah. I just uh, keep it turned down. How long are you burning it for then? All day in the winter. Oh, right. right. And slumbering, as you as mentioned. Right. It, yeah, I've loaded it up with about maybe another two bits of that, and it'll last all, all night. Right, okay. In the morning. Okay. Uh, okay. And if the temperature in here in the winter is about 12, 13, with that slumbering, it's 15 degrees. Right. Which is phenomenal. Right, right. And I've had it up 21 degrees. Right. But I don't have the. We only have that door shut, so that it doesn't really go through the whole house. Right. But I can, you can do it. And right. It's maybe in the, the bedroom, it's maybe 15 degrees. Right, right. Great heat. Yeah, oh, that's brilliant. Because you're quite exposed here. Yeah, and it's not, there is, there's insulation between the walls, the cavity wall insulation, but it's not, not the hottest house. Yeah, right. But uh, I've had up at 21 degrees. And we have a mobile thermostat. So when my grandsons come, that goes outside, so the, the heating comes on. Right, right. <laughs> and then it's up to 25 degrees. Right, right, right. But uh, normally the thermostat's in here. Right. And the, the heat, obviously, from the stove, the stove mm. cuts it on. Right, right, right. Well, that's great. So, yeah. so what sort of difference is it making then, relative? Oh, huge difference, yeah. Sometimes my wife didn't, she thought it wasn't, it wasn't worth the money. And then one day I had it on, and as I say, that, that thermostat was outside. Yeah. So it went up to about 25, and she said, turn that Rico heat off. <laughs> <laughs> that was an admission that it works. Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, it comes out. One of the boys, uh, he's from the, the golf club, and he had a, a laser ther thermometer. Right. And he pointed it at that, and it was something like 380 degrees. Maybe that Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that's right. And yeah. the glass itself, that was about that. Yeah. And you're right about not... You know, when you're going down to, to put some wood in, yeah. keep away from that, because yeah, yeah. it blasts. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. as you say in some of your um, interviews, the stove is still cold, but within minutes, a minute, yeah. you're getting heat out there. Yeah. Not yeah. hugely hot. Yeah. But, yeah. So in the morning, I'll maybe before the heating comes on, uh, I'll blast it out, and then I'll turn the, the air supply down. Right. So that it's... Either flickering or you don't see any flame at all. Right. But you're still getting enormous heat. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's so in the mornings you get it right up to temperature. Right up to, right yeah, up yeah. To but, blast but, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. And then so just turn down. Clean it. So you clean the flue with a good blast in the mornings. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah, great. Yeah. But only for about half an hour. Sometimes, uh, if I if it's in the cold winter, then it's 13 degrees. Within an hour, it's up to 18. Right. Maybe slightly over an hour, so right. it's going up five, yeah. four or five degrees. Yeah, yeah. And then the heat will come on, but it'll go off because yeah. it's set at 19. Right, right. So that's, that heats in here, this open space, and if I wanted to, I would open the door. Right. Oh, that's brilliant. Might have blast out. So I was wondering why that is the. Is, is it 10 mils? 10 mil, yeah. So when the inventor, did, did he have it a, a bigger? 
Yes, so 15, yeah. 15? Started with Did 15. That work no, it doesn't, no. So that has to be 10 mils to get the optimum. The, the balance is it, it, because it's got to go turbulent. Yeah. So it's, it's the pressure. It's the pressure. Um, so, yeah. so you'd have to, to get 15 mil up to pressure, Yeah. you'd have to have massively more. Yeah, um, air going through. From the yeah, pump. that's right. Yeah, yeah, so you'd have to, re- uh, yeah, and so the whole thing, sc- you know, scales up enormously. Um, yeah, I mean, we haven't tra- actually tried to make it work because it doesn't work. Um, yeah, and, it's and, not effective. No, because do- once if it doesn't go turbulent, it just doesn't go hot. Oh. Um, and um, so it's the, it's the, it's the pressure. So it's the, the, the length and the and the form and the and the diameter all yeah. sort of. Um, well, well, yes, simple idea, but uh, brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, that's right. And actually, Kevin, you know, really obsessed about it for a long time. And that, you know, mm-hmm. his, his sort of actually the engineering was, you know, really fantastic. And yeah. and a sort of job that you, you know, to get it right took a long time. And mm-hmm. um, and it's the sort of job that cost you an absolute bloody fortune if you were developing it with yeah. engineers. Uh-huh. And um, but you know, and it's, it was just meticulous observation and, and changing and iterating yeah. and iterating so he, he did it some um, and um, you know with the engineering then kind of um, formalized what was working and what wasn't working and and, and so formalized the design then um, but he'd done all the he'd done all the, all the work and yeah. all the changes you know there's lots and lots of iterations of it, um, that just don't work most of the, I don't know Mostly with engineering, it doesn't work, <laughs> and then, and then you, and you throw it away. Um, but um, it's no, it's, it's, no, it's, it's it's great. So, so and, I go about maybe in the winter I'll go through two of those a day, two full right baskets. through two two baskets a day, right? Yeah. Okay. So and that's including during the night as well. So that's not it's very not, much at all. It's not not a lot. Yeah. But then, as I say, it's. It, don't have a, a huge flame. Yeah. A lot of people like a huge flame yeah. when you're getting as much heat out when yeah. it's when it's slumber, yeah. slumberish more. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. No, and as and as long as you've got as long as you're burning it once a day hot and cleaning you know, cleaning all Clean the crazy out, you, you yeah. keep it clean. Mm-hmm. No, that's fantastic. Because you've been using a stove a long time then. Fifteen years. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's fantastic. And I thought there was a good heat then, but now yeah. it's a couple of times I've had it on and I forgot to put that on and you realise how hot it is when it yeah. starts to blast out. And it was pretty simple to, to install, I did it myself. The hardest part was drilling through to outside. Right. Because that's where the pump is. Right, right, right. So you've got the pump out there, comes mm-hmm. straight through the wall. Straight through the wall, straight onto the back. And it's not touching the stove, so it's... Um, right, yeah, really simple. Simple, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. So you could have it inside here, and it would just recycle. Yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Would, that's right. It's it's the noise that's the that's the, the noise. Yeah. Is, but when well, it's ticking over, you don't hear anything. Right. You maybe hear the pump a slight rumble outside. Right. 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 But if the TV's on, you don't hear that. Either. Right. Right. Certainly in the morning when it's when it's blasting out, it's yeah. a good whistle. <laughs> right. Right. But uh, once you turn down, it's uh, you wouldn't hear it. Right. Yeah. Well worth it is. So if you're running it at about three, you said about three. 80. That's um, that's the, what it's full, yeah. fully come yeah. out, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. The, the laser thermometer yeah. indicated yeah. 380. Yeah. 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 yeah, And the glass was the same temperature. Yes. But yes, that's amazing, when isn't it? When I turn it down, it's not, but it's still, mm. I mean, you can feel it. You can feel it a meter out comfortably, four yeah. feet. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it's really blasting, you, you've got to make sure you keep it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's great. That's great. So you're really picking, picking oh, the heat out. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, thank you very much. Brilliant. Brilliant. So there you are. As ever, a lot to learn from a pro user like Billy. And he gets to be warm in the winter as he looks out over this view. Poifig.